we're going to calculate the variance for a specific item and we're going to expand on the calculations we did in the previous video where we calculated the mean for item 5 so now we're going to calculate the variance for item 5 and what we have to calculate is first the sums of squares where we use this sum uh, sign uh, we have to sum over a person j1 until j capital N that's the f last person in the set and we have to uh, we call this the sums of squares because we're summing all the squares and what are we squaring we're squaring the score of a specific uh, uh, person on that item uh, minus the mean for that item. Well we've already calculated the mean in the previous video uh, and we have to divide that by n minus 1. So we're going to do the sums of squares first and we will do that here. So we'll add the sums of squares uh, but before we can do that we're going to do this in a few steps. Namely we have to have uh, uh, item uh, 5 minus the mean so we're going to put that in this column so here we have to subtract uh, 3 uh, uh, and we have to subtract the mean so we're going to say we're going to uh, use this value 3 and we're going to uh, subtract the mean of that one and we can use a neat trick here because um, if we put a dollar sign in front of the number 14 here and this number 14 uh, refers to the row 14 and then we will fix this uh, row position so if we do this we can pull this down and it will apply the same calculation to all uh, the scores that we have here so uh, if we see here we have the 3 blue and the mean red and if we look at it a different one we have the the score uh, blue again and the mean red again so now we've calculated item 5 minus the mean and we could also um, well we can we could do this in one go I think we can put some brackets on this one and uh, let's square it yeah, that's squared and we can do that for all those uh, answers so now we've squared them all so if I want to sum these squares the only thing I am left to do is uh, use the sum function again but apply it on all these squares and if I do that I have the sums of squares so that's the upper part uh, we've already calculated n so in the final part if we want the variance let's go back to the formula if we want the variance we have to divide the sums of squares by one uh, uh, n minus one so we're going to do that here and let's see we have to divide the sums of squares uh, by n minus one I'm gonna put in some brackets of course uh, apply that and we have the variance. Um, I think we're done now, aren't we? Let's see, oh, we also want to, uh, uh, in the final part, calculate the standard deviation uh, based on the, on the variance, but we uh, simply have to apply the, the square root of the variance there. So uh, we've got the variance, and now let's add the standard deviation, and only thing we have to do now is use the square root function on the variance that we have calculated and we're done. 